Welcome back to the channel guys, as you probably already guessed, I picked up uh, two of the BP-51 chairs. Just going to show you guys what it looks like once it's unpacked and just for my own interest compared to my current front runner chairs. So I picked up the ARB BP-51, picked up two of them from the same place that I got my front runner chairs. They've been a bit scarce in Cape Town. I was quite glad that they finally arrived. At first glance, it does take up quite a bit of space. It is bigger than the front runner chair. I'll show you that in a little bit. But yeah, let's see what let's see what they actually look like. I've heard some good things about them, but I like to base my opinions on my own experiences, I guess. So Take a look at them, but maybe let's also see what it looks like next to the front runner chair. There's one BP-51 Arabic chair, and these are two front runner expander chairs. As you can see, it's quite big. Um, one chair takes up more space than two front runner chairs. So space definitely is a concern. Weight wise, one ARB BP51 chair weighs seven kilograms and supports up to 150 kilograms weight. Whereas one front runner chair weighs four kilograms and supports 115 kilograms. So let's put this aside for a second and let's take a look at what the ARB51 looks like. to lift up the table to get that to click in that it is to force it up in. So that's what it looks like when it's uh, Yeah, the 
chest, share the chest, the front runner, and the ARPP51, you can see in comparison that the front runner is a lot smaller. It's a lot more smaller, it's a lot lighter compared to the BP-51. But you can also see that the BP-51 seems to have a lot more going for it as a cup chair than the front runner does. I think primarily the focus on the front runner is space and weight which are mostly the primary concerns for most people when they're overlanding, I suppose also for camping. But I think this is more here that a little bit of comfort as well. That's the BP-51. While trying to make the most of space and weight. So there's no comfort here, there's quite a bit of comfort in here. And I think that's what makes the difference. So for most people, going with this front runner versus the BP-51, I think it's going to come down to how comfortable you want to be. Set up the front runner chair. I think I've got a video already on this. So that's the front runner chair set up and let's do the BP-51 as well. So a little bit more is the BP-51 as you can see. There is a lock thing mechanism here. But if you just simply lift up the table, that should just click into place. And that's also that set up. Both of those, another one. I think in one of my previous videos, I showed that this does get a little bit flimsy. And the supposing wind can be blown over. This, not so much. It's a lot more steady. This is still very comfortable, um, but then again, I'm not a big guy, so this is comfortable for me, quite comfortable. Um, this supports up to 15, 115 kilograms for the front runner, and this supports 150 kilograms. The other thing that it's not very obvious initially. I normally use the front runner chairs at the moment, as you've seen on the channel. There's a bit of space here in the back. So, during strong wind or cold nights, you won't get cold on the back. Whereas, on this, you don't have that problem. So that's really cool. Let's talk about the cost. I bought the front runner chair and the BP51 chair from the same place for the 4 megawatt part of island in Cape Town. And the front runner chairs cost me 1,400 rand at the time, and this cost me 1,500. So this cost me 2,500 rand for the BP-51 and the front runner chairs was just about 1,400 rand. So you could easily buy two front runner chairs for the price of one BP-51 chair. And I guess that's evident in the size when you see that the front runner chairs are smaller than the BP-51 chairs, but they're not that much smaller. They're not really that much smaller. This might be good, but that little bit 
this matter, depending on how big or how small you are. So I think it's going to come down to two things, price and price, or rather budget, and space. I'll show you later on, and this takes up a lot less space for two chairs, the front runner chairs stuck together compared to the BP-51s. The BP-51 chairs take up all the space that I've got on the left section just behind the battery box. All that space is gone. The second I put two of the BP-51s into that space. But if I put two front runner chairs in the same space, I can put another bag, a recovery bag, a clothing bag or something else on top of that. Whereas this goes right up to the ceiling with both of them. So that's something to consider. If space is a concern, which it is for me, um, then you might not want to go with this chair. But the price for this obviously is a bit higher for two chairs. So if you're looking at buying two chairs, which most people tend to do, then it's probably better to buy two front runner chairs as opposed to two BP-51 chairs. If you've got a little bit more budget and space is not a concern, then this is definitely a better option. This, I think, is somewhere in between comfort and space. Yeah, when you're in the middle of, in the middle of nowhere, this is probably the chair that you want to have if you can carry it with you. <laughs> that's good. That's that's the tricky part. But they are comfortable. The front runner ones are also extremely comfortable, but these have got a bit more accessories to them in comparison to the front runner chairs. So I would say if you're torn between buying this chair versus the front runner chair, the Many things for you to consider price and space. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next review.